Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing well. We're um, gonna do craft time a little bit early this week because we have um, a special craft packs made for you guys so that you can make your mom something special for Mother's Day. So um, we've made, we've got 35 craft packs um, that we're gonna take to the fellowship hall at church and then your moms and dads can come by and get them um, whenever they want to. Um, each kid needs one pack. And then we also have, um, I have got a box with, um, we made extra cards. So there's about 30 extra cards in case you wanna make one for your grandma or um, someone else. There's extra card supplies. And there's also extra sheets for fun facts about my grandma. So this is one of the things that's in your pack. So there's gonna be lots of extras of this sheet because I know my kids are gonna have to fill out three of these. Um, so they're gonna need a couple extra sheets. And there's also some extra um, construction paper that you can mount your sheet to, okay? And then the last thing that's not in your bag but you're gonna need to pick up is um, a rock, okay? There's a box of rocks. The kids went down to the creek and found um, lots of rocks um, so that we can paint them. So pick out one rock, pick up your craft pack, and then if you need extra sheets or extra cards, you can pick up those as well. Um, and they'll be in the fellowship hall starting Wednesday night, okay? and if we run out of craft packs for some reason, if you'll just let me know. Um, and then I want to show you what's in them. Wade, be quiet. Okay. So we've got a couple fun things for the kids. Um, Miss Brenda's been cleaning and we found lots of extra leftovers from different things. So we've got some fun little things for the kids. Um, there's finger puppets. This is, um, some of you have a bookmark where you scratch, and then some of you may get um, a little wooden ornament kit with markers. There wasn't enough of either, so we just kind of put one of each in your bag. Okay, so that's in your bag. And then you got your all about my mom sheet. Okay, so you can fill this out about your mom, draw a picture of her and you right here, and then you've got two sheets of construction paper. Okay, so when you get done with that, you just glue it to your paper so it looks nicer. Okay, and then we gave you one of the fun facts about my grandma sheet. Okay, and again, if you need more of this sheet, um, there's extra copies in the box. Okay. All right, let's see what else we got in our bag. All right, and then for some of the other things that's in the bag, I've got some helpers that are gonna come help me. Um, so Wade, you wanna first come tell me about the rocks? Come on. Okay, so remember, I didn't put the rocks in the bag because they're heavy, but there's a whole box full. Um, all different sizes. We did try to find some that were nice and flat. Cora, you're gonna have to be quiet. Come over here, wait, so that they can see you. Come over here, okay? Say hey. Hey. Let me see your stuff, let's take your stuff away. Okay. All right, so tell them what they need to do to their rocks. Can you show them one that we've done before? No. Hold it up, hold, hold, hold this up so they can see it. Now this one. Okay, so here's one that we've painted before. This has been in our garden probably for, I don't know, two years maybe. Um, and what are they gonna need to do it, Wade? With paint. Paint, just normal craft paint, okay? What else do they need? And a rock. A rock, what else do they need? And, the, and a paintbrush. A paintbrush, okay. So whatever colors you wanna paint it, um, you can also use a paint pen um, if you want to write words. So we wrote the word brave on this one. Um, 
and we used a paint pen, okay? And what can they do when they paint the rock? Who do they give it to? Their mom, and, it, and their mom put it in their garden. Why do they give it to their mom? Because they put it in the garden. What's coming up? What is Sunday? Mother's Day. Mother's Day, okay? So you can, and then if you've got rocks at home, you can paint some more, give one to your grandma. Um, or you can give one to maybe one of the shut-ins or oh, someone yeah. special. You don't have to put it in your garden. It could sit on your desk or wherever you want to put it. And then afterwards, once the paint dries, I would just take some um, clear coat, maybe in the, like a spray um, clear coat and just spray it on there just to make sure the paint stays. Okay? Okay. All right. Good job, Wade. All right. You can go. Let's. Let me keep looking in my bag. You get, No, you can't take that. That goes in the pack. All right? Okay, go over there by Cora. Yeah. You've got one over there in the living room. Okay. Let's see what else is in my bag. Okay. The next thing in my bag, it's in a, it's in a Ziploc bag inside the bag. And it's got, this is going to be instruction. All right, sorry about that. We had to separate some kids. Um, okay, so we're going to make shrinky dinks. If I hold that up so you can see that, okay? Um, these are a ton of fun. Um, Miles, get me the pack of the new pack of shrinky dinks out of that bag that's in that box. I'm going to show you what, what they look like in case you want to buy some. Um, they're so much fun. So they start with, okay, here's what the pack looks like. They come in different colors, but if you get, if you get um, the rough and ready, you can use colored pencils on them. The other brands of Shrinky Dink, you've got to have um, Sharpies. So, just set them back over there. Bud. All right, so what you're gonna have in your pack is you're gonna have two of these circles, okay? And they've already got a hole punch out. Um, if you ever make these and you wanna make them into a keychain, you've got to punch your holes out before you shrink it, okay? And there's a rough side and then there's a smooth side. You wanna make sure you draw your picture on the rough side, okay? And you can just use regular colored pencils. Markers, uh, washable Crayola markers will not work. They'll come off, okay? Um, you can use Sharpies if you've got lots of colored Sharpies or if you just want to write in black. Um, but my kids used colored pencils. Okay, so this is what the one side, so it goes from this size to this little size. Um, and then one side is like matte and the other side is shiny. Um, so it shrinks this much, okay? And Cora decided to put hers on a keychain um, Wade wants to make a necklace out of his, so here's Wade's, okay. Um, the copy of the instructions are in your bag on how to do it. You've got a sheet of parchment paper, okay, and then you've also got, if you want to do it on a key ring, you've got, um, you've got a small key ring and a big one. So it's best if you put that small one onto your charm first and then put the big keychain on. Um, or you can do what Cora did and just string some beads on it and we just tied it in a knot, okay? Um, or you can make a necklace or a bracelet, lots of possibilities. And if you look on Pinterest, there's tons of fun shrinky dink ideas. Um, another fun one would be a bookmark. Um, I've seen lots of bookmarks. So we've got one that's ready to go in the oven, okay? So Miles, can you come help me? Okay, so I have found, let me give you a couple tips on the Shrinky Dinks. Um, I, first I tried to bake them on the Pampered Chef stone and they didn't do as well. I think they kind of need air to be able to go beneath them. So if you've got a boiler pan or we're using um, our toaster oven pan. If you've got something that's got holes, that's best. Okay, so we've got our parchment paper. Sorry, but got our parchment paper in there. Um, 
Miles is going to show you his. So there's the one Miles did. And then there's another one Wade did. Okay, so we've got our oven set to 325. Miles is going to set those down and he's going to go pop them in the oven. And it only takes just a minute. And then he'll be right back. And while he's doing that, let me give you just a couple tips. Your yeah, just open it up and put it in. All right. When you put them in the oven, they're going to immediately start to curl up. And you're going to panic a little bit um, and think that you're doing it wrong or it's not working. But it is, and they'll flatten back out. Even if they curl up and start touching, it'll flatten back out. Um, I want to show you what happened when I did not have patience, okay? Okay. So this is what happened to one when I tried to immediately pull it out of the oven and flatten it myself. So what happened is the plastic didn't finish shrinking. Okay. So the instructions tell you, and if I had read them, I would have known, which we've done this before, but it's been a while, um, that it takes one to three minutes, and then after it lays flat, then leave it in there for another 30 seconds. Okay. So these are two of the ones that I did not, wait patiently to flatten okay all right so while miles is waiting on his i'm gonna get miss cora to come over here and show you guys how to do the last thing that's in your pack cora come on all right there's one more thing in your pack okay you're going to get there's going to be a card okay it's not folded yet but you can see there's um, fold lines on it. Okay. And then, Cora, what are they going to get in their envelope? Okay. Sorry about that. Miles needed help with the oven. Okay. So, this is the finished card. Cora, yeah. tell them about your card. Okay. I put, like, shapes inside it. Okay. So, decorate the butterfly's wings. Yeah. And then I twist Here. it a little. Let's hold it up for them. Okay. I twist it. So we decorate. So how you're gonna make it? Mhm. Mm you're gonna. Wait, I'm making it right now. We're gonna show them. And okay. Then yeah. Scoot over here. All right. So you your butterfly should already kind of be folded in half. You're just gonna put glue on half of it. Okay. Are we doing it for now? Yeah. <gasps> All right. You just put glue on half of it. Mhm. Mm okay. And then stick it down. Right. Okay, and you do the same thing to the little butterfly. Okay, so somebody's gonna get a card with a butterfly that's already half stuck on. Okay, so you're gonna do that to the little butterfly, right? Yeah. Okay, and then where do we put this? Where do we put this? Well, we put it inside. Down okay. here. Inside, and then you write whoever the card is for okay so my kids wrote ma because that's what they call me but if you put mama mommy um it could be grandma or nana or granny okay you put their name on this line and then you sign your name down here okay um and you can draw them a picture up there the other thing we did is we kind of drew a little trail to show where the butterflies had gone okay so a little dotted line with some loop-de-loops. Like um, and don't forget to decorate the inside and the outside of your butterfly. Mm -hmm. Okay? Anything else you need to tell them? Is that it? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see if Miles has a Shrinky Dink update. Miles, how's it going? Are they flat? Yeah. All right, pull them out and bring it over here. Can you pull it out? All right, let me put this craft pack back together. Okay, so remember there's extra cards um, and there's extra sheets of fun facts about my mom and fun facts about my grandma if you need extra sheets. Okay, extra cards, shrinky dinks. All right, so let's see it, Miles. Here, bring it here. Okay, so when I stopped the video, that's because Miles thought that they weren't going to go flat, but he just had to be patient. 
Okay, yeah. so it's hot, Miles. Stop. It's hot. Okay, so here's what they look like flat. Um, okay, guys, we thought we were recording, um, but I guess we had stopped mid video. So we took them out of the pan and um, they cool off extremely fast. So if for some reason yours did not go completely flat, do it as soon as they get out of the oven so that um, they'll cool <clears throat> off a little bit. Okay, and then you can do yours in a keychain. Remember, Cora just put strings and beads on it and tied it to her keychain. Um, oh. Miles used a pipe cleaner. pipe cleaner, right, Miles? Mm-hmm. With some just little pony beads, and then I'm just gonna loop it through here, and I'm gonna twist it around really well so that it's not gonna come off. Okay, and then um, you can do a necklace or you can do a bracelet or a bookmark. Okay, so um, I hope you guys enjoy your craft packs. Um, if you enjoy them and you want to send us pictures of what you made, we would love to see. Um, we would love to see pictures of your crafts and what you've made for your mom, so we can put them in our next video. Um, and if you've enjoyed the craft packs, let us know and we can make some more to go with Miss Brenda's um, lessons that she's going to do in the next um, month. So we'll make a new craft pack that'll last you maybe three weeks and you can use it on all your lessons. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.